um, who I am or what I do. I've been a fashion designer for a long time, since uh, 1967. Um, I was inspired uh, to be a fashion designer after having many tearful uh, appointments for or job interviews and realizing that my dream of what I wanted to do wasn't going to come true. So I decided to get a job at an airline so I could travel, not as a stewardess, but in their office. And um, I was in a great place because at my desk was a computer, and it was called a Univac. And I'd studied only art. I wanted to be a painter. My mother discussed that with me every day and told me how inappropriate it would be to find a way to pay rent and still want to be a painter. So I thought, um, OK, here's a computer. I swore I would never learn how to type, because every day she told me I had to learn how to type so I could become a secretary and earn a living and, and pay rent. So I wouldn't learn how to type. And here I am, pretending I know what I'm doing at this airline and at a computer, no less. And at the time, they were very revolutionary. They, they were used in the airline industry, which at the time was kind of like Apple. And I uh, worked there for four years. And I traveled to London during that time, which is in the 60s, no other place to be. And so I found my calling and found that was a way I could express the artistic side of my personality. But I also learned how to use a computer and what a computer could bring to me and to everyone and how communication could just be sent to so many people instantly and what an incredible uh, piece of technology this was. Fast forward, um, it's the 90s and now website. I can have a website, so I'm so excited about it. I set up a website so people could see my designs. I could communicate directly to you, not through interpreters like department stores. And maybe three or four other people came to look at my website because there wasn't that much traffic at the time. But I was very excited about the opportunity of communicating again directly to the consumer. And then fast forward. September 2008. Technology had been infiltrating all of our lives. And I'm going to tell you my experience and what I've been doing, only to tell you what I've been doing, not to tell you that this is the way people should live or what you should do, but only to say this is how I used my imagination to try to reinvent myself uh, in this new world where technology, this, this little thing and all of the technology around us, has taken our lives, turned the, everyone upside down. We love it, but it's also threatened who we are and how we do everything in our lives. It's changed all of our businesses. We're talking about our websites and what we're doing. Half of the people in this room Remember when you were using typewriters only. We talked about it today. So this piece of machinery is kind of the, the enemy and the friend. And then the economy, all of a sudden, here we are. There's a crisis. And now the economy has affected all of our lives, all of, all of our businesses. And if you have escaped it, you're the only one. I'm going to tell you what fear and a little bit of panic did for me and what I decided to do. So I gave you a little history of how fashion and technology kind of came together in my life. But in September of last year, one of the things that I'd done prior to that was I was offered the opportunity to design a line for Walmart. And it never occurred to me that that's what I would ever want to do. But I've been involved with um, women and self-esteem issues for women, especially high school girls, for the last 15 years. And I see a lot of parents don't go to parent-teacher uh, conferences because they just feel that they look 
so bad, that they're dressed so poorly, that they're embarrassed to go to talk to the teacher. And I've heard so many stories like that, and also knowing the girls, that the way people look really affects their self-esteem and what they're able to do. So this was a chance for me to address a customer who had no connection to Norma Kamali at all, or ever thought she would buy anything from Norma Kamali. And so I developed a collection totally my own thought process, my own design, within a price range of $25 and under for Walmart that launched coincidentally in September of 2008. And I, I wasn't sure if that was going to be a good thing or a bad thing, but it turned out that it turned out to be a good thing. And it turned out to be uh, something that my customer and everyone in this room all of a sudden was doing. We were shopping in places that we never thought we would. We were being smart shoppers. We were negotiating. We were looking at the value, price value, for everything we buy. Now I see a lot of my customers shopping for that dress that you saw and for other things I do for Walmart uh, at Walmart. So all of a sudden, this, this company and my existence changed the dynamic, um, the dynamic change when the economy changed too. And it became more important that I address this collection. So that was a good thing. But on the other hand, I saw my business, my, my retail business, drop incredibly fast. No customers coming in, very few. The Europeans, where are they? What's going on in the department stores? Well, they're just, they've been floundering for 10 years anyway. They're just falling apart. So everybody in my industry and related industries were feeling panic and almost not talking about it because we all felt it was something we were doing. And as a matter of fact, the more we talked, we realized it was what we were all doing. We were doing everything the same way we'd done it for the last 15 years of excess, the last 20 years of excess. The, the thinking that there's money uh, to spend and there isn't money to spend. One of the services I have in my company is that if you want to buy a bathing suit, you can go onto my website, check out, this is for you guys too, only for your wives or for girlfriends, so just try to personalize this. But if you want to choose a bathing suit, you can pick a few on the website and we send it to you and you try before you buy it. You have 48 hours to make a decision and you only pay for it if you decide to keep it. Well, this has been a, a, a part of the business that's been doing well, but all of a sudden we saw that sh go right up. More and more people were going online using that service and feeling more comfortable actually to shop online than to come into the store. So we quickly took notice of this. And then one of our Try Before You Buy customers told us that she tried on a swimsuit, she Skyped her friend in Vermont and her other friend in Mexico. They both gave her a thumbs up and she bought the suit and her friend in Vermont bought the suit too. I said, okay, we have two things here. We're gonna, we're gonna really build up this business. We're gonna look at everything that's online. We're gonna take a look at opportunities and we are going to Skype everyone. So if you're trying a swimsuit on at home, we can Skype with you and help you not only try that swimsuit, but maybe you have a skirt in your closet to go with it to maximize the opportunity of that one purchase. We can personalize this. We can create, like you just heard, a conversation with you that's more personal than just this technology. So that started to generate more interest and more energy in what we were doing. And then the next thing we did was we started to talk and see what was going on. And we found that people were buying Norma Kamali Walmart that would sell out very quickly, and it still does, but 
they'd buy it, and then they would sell it on eBay for twice the price. And I found out about it through a Walmart executive that told me she had to buy one of my jackets on eBay for twice the price because we had it sold out. So we then just jumped right over to eBay and researched everything that is sold, Norma Kamali, on eBay. And there was quite an extensive business of people reselling my clothes from back in the 60s to now. So I thought, well, I guess I have a customer base here. So we now have an exclusive collection that just launched uh, for eBay. And I'm selling it at wholesale prices because the people I sell to who resell the merchandise are going out of business. They don't pay their bills. So I'm thinking, why don't I just sell wholesale straight to the consumer? And I know I'm going to get paid there, and I don't have to worry if they're going to go out of business or not. What I did on the 17th of September, which was Fashion Week in New York City, for those of you who could care less, that's what it is, and uh, it's my job. And so for Fashion Week, I never, I stopped doing fashion shows 15 years ago. The minute a celebrity sat in the front row of, of a fashion show I did, I said, I'm out of here. This is not about what I do. I really don't care. I, I love that they wear my clothes. I just don't want to deal with this. So I stopped doing fashion shows. So this was the first time since in the, in the last 15 years for me to get involved with a presentation. So I decided that I wanted to do my presentation at the Apple Store. And I developed an app with uh, with an, a person who works with Apple, with a company in Canada. And we developed an app, and we had it ready to launch in the Apple Store. And I was also able to launch some other new technology, like, the, like some of the things I'm going to show you uh, at that presentation. And one of the things that I wanted to do was to also say to the fashion industry, we have to change what we're doing. This information, the minute there's a fashion show, at the fashion shows, people are doing this. They're just, they're doing this, and then it goes on YouTube and everywhere else. So everyone in this room who may not have ever been to a fashion show can now be in the front row with Anna Winter. And so you all can see everything the same time this very elite group used to see it. So I thought at my presentation, what I would like to do is have the presentation of all the technology in the Apple Store. And then outside of the Apple Store, I had 45 girls, each in a different part of my collection, 15 in the designer collection, 15 in the eBay collection that we were just launching, and 15 in the Walmart collection. And all of those styles would be on my new app. And once you downloaded the app, you could purchase that minute, not three months from now, you could purchase everything you were seeing. So you could instantly, the minute you see the collection, you could buy it. In the fashion industry, you do have to wait three months before it actually becomes uh, a part of, the, the, of the, the universe, a part of the stores. So what I'm going to show you now is a little bit of the technology I showed um, at the Apple Store. The first part of it is the, the model showing all the clothes is to say, you can communicate your design information very, very efficiently and instantly uh, using YouTube, using all the technology so everyone can see something that's very simple but very intricate in, in the possibilities. I'll take you through some of the other uh, steps of new technology that I use. This is my app, and I love it. And please download it and give me five stars, please, even if you don't mean it. <laughs> I want a good rating to get. <laughs> so the, the app. I, I'm an appaholic. I am so into every cool new app, and I'm thrilled to have an app um, on, on, and this is the, the way it works, obviously. This is one of the collections. It's showing you how you can just 
buy it or tell a friend. You can just click on there and buy it immediately. Or you can do the try before you buy as well. So all three collections are on here. And I don't know any of you who, I'm not sure how many of you have iPhones, but since 1964 5, when all of that new stuff was happening, since that time, this is the next revolution, changing the culture and changing our lives. And it is just magnificent. It's so exciting. It should be everyone's open possibility. So, this is obviously my iPhone, if you see all the, the, the emails. This is my website now. And the website is, is simplified in that all of those buttons take you right to the collections. This is the Norma Kamali eBay, Norma Kamali Bay collection. So you go right to it. Um, it's very easy to use. No more than two clicks to get to the product. You just go right to it. This is a game. Uh, by a company that creates a fashion game. It's a closet, and you style your a, you style an outfit in a closet. And they did uh, Walmart's collection in a closet for me. And then you can style the outfit. You click on it, and you can go to Walmart.com and buy it. And the first day we had forty-five thousand. The second we had ninety-something thousand had over 500,000 players of the game. So that was an incredible experiment. They never did that before, and it worked tremendously well. And sales increased phenomenally, and we now have an extended base of, of, of customers as a result. So here it shows you how you can, you can draw it, you can play with it, you can design it, you can post your outfit and share it with a friend. And it, it's a really fun game that's huge. It's, it's, a, it's a global game, and it's a, an amazing company that actually uh, joined with Lifetime. And then Lifetime did some TV spots with it, too, and it was really pretty fantastic. So, I think I've told you my story and, um, and how I've kind of been trying to find a way to reinvent myself uh, out of fear and panic, uh, but also out of true excitement. I'm just loving this time too. As, as it, I'm a little fearful every day, but I'm also kind of popped up about it. I really love the opportunities and I love everything that this world can bring.